Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking, and I apologize, it's been a while since my last upload. I believe the last upload was a couple weeks ago, and it was over the unboxing of my Bushmaster uh, AR-15, which as you can see, it's changed a little bit since then. Um, but in this video, uh, as you can suggest from the title, I wanna talk about cheaper optics on real AR-15s. Uh, this right here is one of them, but the video, uh, this video is gonna be about this right here that's in my pocket. This, I don't even know how to pronounce it, it's called the uh, Uhu uh, red and green dot uh, reflex sight and I bought this expecting not much from it and in this video we're gonna go ahead and test it out uh, so what this is is a reflex red dot sight green dot as well that you can get on Amazon for less than 20 bucks I believe this is like 17 bucks for the flat dark earth one uh, you could get black as well I saw it on Amazon and I thought no way this could hold up to recoil of a real rifle even though a 5.56 doesn't kick uh, necessarily too hard. I thought this thing for under 20 bucks just not going to hold up to it and it's not going to hold zero and all that kind of stuff. Um, because if you guys know me, I don't like to cheap out on optics. I like to get really, really great stuff that's going to you know, uh, last quite a t uh, good time. Uh, so with this one as well, this was another cheapo Amazon site and both of them have actually done okay And that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to go ahead and test out in this uh, very video So what I did is I put this on uh, this I forgot the name honestly It's another Chinese site that's going to come off probably fairly soon. It was just for the purpose of the test um, So I did it in it was actually holding zero fairly well Then I put this on the side because I put it on top the, uh, the front uh, iron sight gets in the way So I had to actually put it on the side rail uh, then I was shooting sideways and I lined up this with the crosshairs here because I knew this was zeroed in. So with that said, that's what I was doing. So that's why I'm shooting sideways on the bench. I know it looks quite awkward. Um, anyway, so what I did was I shot about 15 rounds and, um, and we'll go ahead and sh uh, roll that footage now and talk about the results. Scattered. Yeah, g give me another one. Alright, so what I did there was actually shoot 14 looking through the reflex sight and then one shot uh, looking through my optic just so I can see where uh, that is. So if there's a flyer here, I know that that was with the top optic, uh, that one 10 times magnification. Anyway, so that's exactly what this is right here. I'll uh, get a close up of this. But that top one there, I did mark it as uh, the flyer that I shot with the optic, so I was a little off on my adjustment. But overall, you can see the consistency on the bottom of the page here. The rest of the 14 shots were all on paper there. There's one way off to the right, and I do, in fact, recall uh, that. Uh, I pulled that one pretty badly. But other than that, all of them are in a pretty good group here, maybe about 4 inches at 100 yards. And obviously, that's not a fantastic grouping if you're uh, looking for precision. But to keep in mind, I really don't have a whole lot of experience with non uh, you know optical zoom I really do like looking through crosshairs with some kind of zoom uh, so anyway uh, I thought I would uh, show you guys what I was looking through here uh, so with no magnification with the green I was using the green uh, crosshairs with the little dot in between there's four different uh, modes there's the dot there's the circle I believe then there's the crosshairs and there's the crosshairs with the circle and then there's five different brightnesses on green and then five on red and as you can see uh, the red was just not showing in the middle of the bright day um, so yeah with that said it was actually a pretty cool sight to see uh, looking through um, looking through that red crosshair I'm sorry the green crosshair so that did look kind of cool because I'm so used to looking through magnified optics uh, so that's pretty interesting and if I were doing a lot of true plinking just hitting two liters from under uh, 100 yards like 50 to 100 yards uh, And I didn't have a uh, front iron sight obstructing uh, obstructing my view Then that actually is actually kind of cool now How will it uh, you know stand the test of time if you beat it around a little bit? I would imagine not too well, but for under 20 bucks when I get a few uh, or invest in a proper sight the choice is kind of yours, but hey, there's that uh, option for you. I thought that after the first shot, it was just gonna, you know, throw it uh, way out of whack. So I'm still a believer that you get what you pay for in optics. That's just kind of a fun little thing. I would more recommend it for like a toy, maybe an airsoft or something like that. But for real optics, 
uh, when, uh, when potentially for a lot of uh, people, their life depends on it for home defense or whatever, you don't want to cheap out. Uh, so that's exactly why I am doing it for you guys for uh, the sake of the testing. So and that's, uh, that's pretty much the video on that one reflex site. If you guys want it, I'll put the link in the description to where you guys can check it out. Uh, same thing with this one here. This is just a gimmicky site that was about 80 bucks. Uh, I believe it's two and a half to 10 power. Uh, uh, and it has a little laser on it. So that is uh, quite gimmicky. And I just thought this is an airsofting thing, but it wasn't, you know, you know, it didn't say for airsoft. So I'm like, let me, let me try to put it through its paces. And so far it's doing okay. But like I said, I like, I like good optics. So yeah, this is my Bushmaster. I'll fill you guys in. That's pretty much the whole video on the optics. So if you tuned in for that, then that's about it. Uh, but yeah, so this is a little different than the unboxing, but all that's been done to it because this was the Bushmaster uh, MOE battle rifle, the uh, MOE Magpul uh, stock and uh, pistol grip and flat dark earth that came with the rifle. And uh, it also had the uh, MOE um, handguard, which I replaced for this, I believe it's XTS um, uh, rail system, quad rail. And what a bargain this thing is, and I am absolutely happy with it. I paid $40 for this aluminum uh, rail, and uh, I bought it at Academy. And you know how like normal rail systems or handguards will, you kind of pivot the front end, clamp it down, pull down the delta ring, and then snap it in place. This one was not like that. This one you actually attach from the back, you put it in the delta ring, and then it just falls down, and it doesn't lock in there. What you do instead is screw it down with uh, four screws, two in back, two in front, and this thing is more solid than any quad rail that I felt that's not free floating. So uh, for 40 bucks an aluminum rail system, it's actually pretty darn good. Um, what else? And then like I said, cheapo optic. Uh, then I got some rail covers and then just painted them uh, as well as painting it the, uh, the site. So it looks cool, but uh, it's kind of a budget AR uh, as far as the, the configuration. It might look like it's something special at first, but everything I've kind of done to it is actually very, very reasonable in price. Um, so anyway, that concludes this video. Uh, more videos coming quite soon with uh, with this gun and others. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. All right, that's something you need to stick with. Oh yeah. And you try to catch it when the tip of the barrel. You catch the, you know, the, when it's that barrel before, you get it one of the troughs, right? You know, and it, whatever. Right there. How do you know, how do you know when this happens? You just have to test different loads. Make it vibrate. Oh, 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 o